in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create a woocommerce website in 10 minutes i'm not going to make the intro super long we're just going to go straight into it so let's get started okay so the first thing we're going to need for a woocommerce website is going to be hosting hosting is what's actually going to allow our website to be online and allow people to visit it so for hosting we're going to be using hostinger if you guys have watched my other woocommerce tutorial i've also used them there and i always recommend using hostinger because they have one of the best hosting services available they're by far the cheapest from what i've seen it's very easy to set up and they have one of the best uptimes of all hosting platforms and in case you don't know what uptime is it basically means how often your site is going to actually be available so if you ever visit a website and you get some error their site is not available that's because their site is down at that time and hostinger actually has 99 uptime so basically 99 of the time your site is going to be up and there's going to be no issues for people visiting it and that's one of the main reasons i love using hostinger so i'm going to leave a link in the description it's going to take you straight to this page right here and that page only has the hosting plan that we need for this video here in case any of you go straight to hostinger you want to go for premium web hosting which is basically what we have right here so we're going to click on claim deal and we're going to click on add to cart right here and that's going to take us to the checkout where we're going to choose the 48 month plan if you're watching this video in january of 2023 you're going to get three extra months free with the 48 month plan and if you're watching it after that i don't think it's going to be available so if you are going to be making a website now is the perfect time i already have an account but if you don't you can just create it right here the total is 133 dollars and we do have a coupon code which is marco 10 you guys can use that to save 10 percent off and that's going to make the total 120 dollars so i'm just going to quickly check out and i'll see you guys afterwards okay so right after checking out it's going to take us to this page right here and we're just going to click on start now we're going to click on create website and we're going to go straight to wordpress we're going to click select then it's going to take us right here where it's going to ask us to create a password so be careful what you put in here this is going to be the password you're going to use to access your wordpress website so i'm just going to set up a quick password and we're going to go from there okay now that we have the password i'm going to click continue here it's going to ask us to add plugins to our website we're just going to skip this step and then it's going to ask us to select a template for our site so i'm just going to look around here and choose one i like this one it's called hestia so i'm just going to click preview and this is basically what our website on this theme is going to look like so let's click select and continue right after selecting the template it's going to ask us to select the domain so we're just going to claim our free domain which you get with the hosting or plan so let's click on select and this is where we're going to enter our desired domain name so i'm just going to go for oliver travel and i do recommend you guys always go for a .com domain so let's click on search and let's see if it's available unfortunately it's already taken but for the sake of the tutorial the domain name doesn't really matter because i'm not going to be using this site so i'm just going to go for .net and that is available so let's click on search and yes it's available so let's click on continue and we finished our setup so let's click on finish setup okay so we're going to go back to our dashboard now and we're going to click on edit website and here it's very important to install an ssl certificate so when people visit our site they can see that it's secure and that it's not a scam or anything like that so we're going to click on install right here this is our domain and we're just going to click on install ssl and it's being installed so we're just going to close this for now and now we basically wait for this to install if you run into any issues when installing your ssl certificate just wait a couple of hours retry it again if it still doesn't work wait about 24 hours and try again and if that doesn't work then troubleshoot look into it and you can also get help in the lower right hand corner so you can go here and you can look for your problem right here and if necessary you can also reach out to support but in most cases it should work right off the bat once you're done installing your ssl certificate you're just going to want to go to google and type in your domain name and then slash wp dash admin and then just click enter and that's going to take us straight to wordpress if you remember earlier in the video i told you to remember the details you were putting in and this is exactly where you're going to be putting those in and once you're done click log in and that should take us straight to the wordpress dashboard and here we are so this is the back end of the wordpress dashboard if it's your first time ever looking at it or using it it's going to be very confusing but just give it some time play around with it visit each one of these separately and just see what it's all about and very quickly you're going to start to get familiar with it and within a couple of hours it's going to be like second nature all right so in the dashboard the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to check out how our site is looking so we're going to go here on the home tab and we're going to click visit site and that is going to take us straight to the home page which looks like this at the moment and in my opinion this is a perfect setup uh, we're just going to change a couple of things here and there and that's going to be it uh, when it comes to the tabs we have home blog contact and more when you click each of these they take you to a separate page and uh, contact is pretty nice and i really do like how the contact us page looks the blog apparently has some posts already so we won't really have to be making some but i will show you guys how to make a blog post just in case and on the home page we already been here this is what it looks like so let's go back to wordpress now the first thing that we're going to want to edit are the pages so we're just going to go here where it says pages and click on all pages and these are the current ones we have so i really do like to contact us we also have a privacy policy as well and if we click on edit as you can see it's not bad at all so you could just play around with this a little bit and change up a few things but we're gonna leave it as it is if you wanted to delete any pages you would just hover over them and click on trash if you want to view them click on view and if you want to edit them click on edit it's very simple very self-explanatory just come in here and play around with it i'm not going to change any of it because i pretty much like how it is the only thing i will change is the contact page i'll just name it contact us 
I click update and this is where you can make any changes if you want to. So it's very customizable and it's very easy to make it look however you want it to look. So we're just gonna click on update and we're gonna go back. The blog page is empty so far. If we click on edit, we can see there's nothing there, but I'm gonna be filling it out really soon. Uh, just first, before we do that, we're gonna go into settings. Then we're gonna go into reading right here. And here you wanna make sure that your post page is blog, not anything else. So we're gonna leave it as it is and click on save changes. We are also gonna go into permalinks and we are gonna change it from custom structure to show post name and we're gonna click on save then the next thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna go to appearance and then we're gonna go into menus and this is where it's gonna enable us to edit all the pages that you saw on the home page so if you want to change it up you can play around with the positioning right here or you can also change which page it is you can change the name right here or anything else that you want to change but in this case i'm pretty happy with the default setup so i'm just gonna click on save menu i am gonna add one page to the menu just to demonstrate how you would do it so we're gonna go into pages and click on all pages here you're gonna want to click on add new and then here is where you want to choose the title so let's just call it test page and let's put in some text right here let's click on publish and let's click on publish once again and now it's showing up right here so once we go to appearance and menus once again we're going to be able to add it right here so i'm just going to click on test page and click add to menu and here it is down below so we're going to click on save menu and now we're going to go back to our website here on the home page and click on visit site and as you can see the test page has been added if we click on it we have the test page right here so if you want to add any extra pages that's how you would do it while we're here let's start customizing our website so the first thing i would want to change is the logo so we're going to click on customize right here and that is going to open up our editor where we're able to change everything else so first let's click on site identity and for the logo let's click select logo click select files and i'm just going to upload a logo that i already prepared so let's click on select and we're just going to select everything and click on crop image and as you can see let's click on publish so there's our logo but as you can see it's not showing up here because we need to select the transparent header logo as well so let's click on the same image and let's just click select set this up once again and let's click on crop image and when you refresh the page your logo is going to show up so there it is and we're also able to edit quite a few other things if you want to edit the text right here or anything like that you could do that i'm not going to do it all in this video because i'm trying to keep it short but if you want to make any extra changes you can do so here if you want to edit the image in the background let's click on here and then right here we're able to select the image so i prepared one i'm uploading it real quick and i'm going to click on choose image and here we go the image is changed if we want to change the text so instead of it saying welcome to hastia i can say welcome to all of a travel and instead of the default text right here we can say something like enjoy the best travel at the most affordable prices all right so that's gonna be it for the home page so far if we want to make any further edits right here we could i'm just not gonna waste the time because i showed you guys how to do it so it's pretty simple you just go in here click on what you want to edit and then just change it here and that's pretty much it and the default setup from the theme looks pretty good if you want to hide any of these parts you can just click on the eye icon right here or if you accidentally hide something, you can go back and you can just click on the eye icon right here to bring it back and to be able to show it once again. If you want to edit the menu in the top right, you can click on the icon right here and then you can choose which menu you want to use. Uh, we're just going to use the primary menu because that's the only one we have and that's usually the one you want to use here. For the footer menu, you can make a separate list or you can just use the primary menu as well. It really depends on what you want to do, uh, but I would just go for select in this case and just have the default things right here. And then the top bar menu, uh, you can also use primary or just leave it as it is really doesn't matter and whenever you're making any changes you always want to click on publish to make them public and when it comes to editing the site that is pretty much it okay so the next thing we're going to want to do is i'm going to show you guys how to add a blog post so let's go back to our dashboard and here we're going to look for posts and then we're going to go into categories under posts and this is where we're going to be able to create a category so let's just call it cheap travel destinations and we're just going to click on add new category once we're done with that we're going to go over to add new and this is going to enable us to write a blog post so i'm just going to paste in something i already prepared this is going to be the title and then this is going to be our body text right here as you can see this is what it looks like if you want to add any images to your blog or anything like that you can go into here click on the plus icon uh, look for image and then you can upload it or you can go to your media library and just select one of the images you already have so let's do that and uh, let's click publish let's click publish once again you're also going to want to add a featured image so let's select this one for example and let's click update and now let's go check it out so let's go over to our site and let's click on blog and here we can see the new blog 
post that we just made and it looks amazing so let's click on it let's check it out and as you can see we have all the text right here we have the image and everything else in here so if you want to start a blog or if you want to just add blog posts to your site or store or whatever it is that's how you would do that and with that being said our short tutorial is done and that will be it for this website as you can see this is what the home page looks like we also have the blog post right here we've set up hosting and we've set up some things in the back end as well so once again if you're watching this video in january make sure to use hosting just promotion while it's still available and overall that will be it for this video you guys can set up any type of website with this model whether it's a blog a portfolio website a website for some business or anything like that you can apply the same principles to everything and in case you want to set up an e-commerce website through wordpress you can check out my previous tutorial which i'll leave a link for in the description that goes into a lot more detail when setting up an e-commerce store so yeah that'll be pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one peace